Okay, this is Mignon Francoise, and we are at her famous cupcake collection here in Nashville, Tennessee. And she's going to tell us a story because it's really interesting on how she got started. Go ahead, Mignon. Well, if you really want to know the whole story, you have to go online to hear it at um, youtube.com slash the cupcake collection and there's a whole video on why we make cupcakes every day but really what happened is we started the cupcake collection out of desperation desperation to make something happen we were losing everything we had we were drowning in debt in brokenness our family was spread out all over the place um, and our house was going to be auctioned for sale because we just couldn't afford to pay for it anymore. I asked God for something that I could do, and he said, make cupcakes. The thing about that was, I didn't know how to bake. But God's word is always, if you move, I'll meet you. He's always there waiting to do something for you, as long as you do something for yourself, too. I learned that about him. And so I started realizing that I'd take one step he had already taken, two. And so I, I realized in the process I had two little girls that were awesome bakers that were baking all the time. And so my idea was that they could make the cupcakes at night when they came home from school and I could uh -huh. sell them in the daytime. I've always had a keen sense for business. Uh -huh. And um, I, this was my plan for my daughter graduating from high school uh, because I knew she really didn't have a plan for what she wanted to do after high school. But shortly into the process, because um, I went to the girls and they said, yeah, that would be fun. So I, shortly into the process, my oldest daughter let me know, oh, yeah, I actually do have a plan. I'm leaving. I'm going back to New Orleans. So she wasn't going to be here. Well, without her, her little sister's no longer interested. Yeah. And I've got to figure out then what am I going to do because I was going to start a whole business buying two people who are not here mm -hmm. So I went to my husband and asked for help. And he, and he said to me, there's plenty of culinary books in the house and you need to go figure out why you want to use baking soda. What is baking powder for? So I could never bake out of a box. It mm -hmm. just would never work. Mm -hmm. And my kids would always make fun of me if I ever tried. Mm -hmm. But what I found is that when I use my scientific background to, to make chemical reactions, I learned how to bake a good cake. Mm -hmm. My grandmother was the first person to give me a recipe that I could use, that I could be successful at. So I made my grandmother's strawberry cake, wow. and my family was so shocked that I actually got something. Nice. And that it tasted really, really good. And so that gave me the confidence that I could do more. And so I just did baby steps. Started doing one little piece of at a time. And here we are, all the recipes are mine. Um, the icing that we use is my 11, she's 11 at that time. My daughter's recipe for the icing, the basic wedding cake or vanilla, and the basic cream cheese icing was my little girl's recipe, and I was able to then base everything off of the mistakes that she made in the kitchen. Because one night she wanted to bake her father a cake for his birthday, and so it was time for her to go to bed, way past her bedtime. I said, "Hurry up, little girl, just, just go do it." And so she went in and she made two major mistakes. And, and so I was like, just bake it, let's see what we get. And so she baked it, and then she went to make the icing, she made major mistakes again. I said, just put it on there, he's going to be happy that you made him something. And so she did. It was the best cake that we've ever had before. And that was the beginning of our wedding cake. I, and I heard a, a woman came and she like just bought up a bunch of your wedding cake. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh man, I should have ordered it. <laughs> Is that like one of your f most popular well, it's ones? It's not the most popular one, but people, a lot of people say that you can judge a bakery by how good its wedding cake is. Mm -hmm. and that, uh, or that a bakery is only as good as its wedding cake. Mm -hmm. And so our wedding cake is very popular because it's definitely a signature. It's not... Yeah, you, it's not a lot going on with it, but you can tell that there's something there that you may not be able to put your finger on, mm -hmm. and that's the mistakes that my daughter made. Now, how many, really how many cupcakes did you sell? Like, when did you start? How long ago was this? We started November 9, 2008 was our first day in this. And how many cupcakes did you sell? Um, 
I sold out my first day. I don't remember now how many that yeah. actually was, but we sold out our first day. It was a Sunday. And uh, we didn't tell anybody we were opening. We had a sign on our building for two years saying we were coming soon, so I figured that meant that the world was waiting. <laughs> the world was not waiting, or, or the world wasn't expecting anything. Well, I thought they were. But we did sell out our first day. And how many and the next couple of weeks were kind of, you know, yeah. slow. You know, what people were were eating down at Monell's, which is a landmark here in our mm -hmm. city, and so they would <laughs> travel down here and find out about us. So you know, it, it did well. Um, that first, the first major time I had a crowd, it was kind of like this show, right? Yeah. And uh, I, I noticed the NES guy traveling by. He was coming to shut off our lights because oh, we no. hadn't been able to pay our light bill. In the two weeks that we lived here before we opened up the business, we lived here without electricity because we couldn't afford it. So I wrote a check to get the lights on, believing God that he would just give me enough money to take care of it. But God doesn't work in that way where you just decide how he's going to yeah, help Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I wrote the check in his office. And so we just came to get their lights right. And my husband ran through the backyard and he talked with me. He said, my, my, my wife has got a business and she's really trying hard. She's got a crowd in there right now. And if you shut the lights off, she's going to be devastated. And the guy said, I'll make a deal with you. I got to go to the other side of town. I shut the lights off. You don't have that money by the time I get back. I'm sorry for your wife. I got a wife too. I'm going to cut your lights off. And so by the time we got back, I had two thousand dollars, and we had paid the bill. And the very next day, he showed up again. And he's a really big man. Six seven. Wow. And I flung the door, but I was going to fight this man. I know I paid this bill yesterday. Why are you here? It's like, wait a minute. I came to bring business to you. It started looking like an NES, National Electric Service, convoy rolling through oh here. Oh my god. Everybody at NES, they need to come down here and support this little lady because she had the best cupcakes we had ever had. And they started rolling through here. Now NES is one of my biggest customers. Oh my god, that's awesome. And now when I see the NES truck, it's a celebration. Oh. You know, I'm not afraid anymore, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, for what, what, what they're coming with because they're coming with. They can't wait to see us too. That's know? awesome. So that's how the Cupcake Collection got started. That's congratulations. <laughs> that's you. a great story.